Well, hello, Stampin' Friends. Thanks for joining me today. I have a fun little graduation card that I want to share with all of you. It's one of those interactive cards, or what I like to call a fun fold card. Um, I actually have it held together here. It's a little graduation cap. I have it held together with a, a little paper clip, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So. When you open it up, you have this fun, let's see, I'm getting a little bit of glare, there we go. You have this fun little design on the inside um, that you can just decorate it, you know, with just about anything that you have on hand. So I'm gonna show you how to make this card. Um, it's very simple, it folds up, um, kind of like a diamond, I like to call it a diamond fold. I'm not really sure what the technical term is, but it folds up on top of itself um, makes it fairly easy for mailing although um, with the tassel on there I don't know that it would mail um, that easy so so let me show you how we're going to make this graduation cap so I'm gonna put this to the side the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock um, cut to 8 by 8 inches you will also need a couple of white pieces for the inside so I'm just going to kind of lay these out here so you can kind of see um, what the inside of the card looks like so you'll need a, two white pieces each um, piece is cut to three and three and a quarter by three and three and a quarter so it's just a little um, shorter than uh, than the squares that we're going to create we're going to create four by four squares so I cut that about a quarter inch shorter and then you're going to need a piece of colored cardstock. You can choose whatever color you want. Um, I chose red, but you can coordinate this with the colors that the graduate has at their school. So you'll need just one piece, and this is cut to the same size as the white pieces, so three and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And then you'll need some other fun little embellishments, like um, I have a little congrats here. I also have a square that I cut that's about one and three quarter by one and three quarter. I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. And then you'll need some Baker's twine. And you will also need a piece of, um, no, I, I embossed this already, but you're gonna need a piece of um, silver. If you wanna put silver on your card, you're gonna need a piece of silver metallic, or what's this called, um, silver foil paper. And this piece is cut to um, three and three and a quarter by three and three and a quarter. I've already cut it diagonally. I'll show you how to do that. And I've already embossed it. Um, but I'll, we'll get to all that as we put together the card. So let me show you how to get started. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to bring my Stampin' Trimmer over here because I'm going to use the scoring tool on my trimmer. So remember this piece of black cardstock is cut eight by eight. So really all I wanna do is score it in half. So I wanna score it at four inches and then I wanna turn it and I want to score it again at four inches so that I have four inch squares all the way around this piece of cardstock. Now I'm gonna turn it on an angle and I'm gonna line it up in my stamping trimmer. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I line up the top. So I line up the top here, um, right where the, the scoring tool will go in this little groove of my trimmer. I line the top point there, and then I do the same thing with the bottom point. So if I slide this up a little bit, maybe you'll be able to see the bottom point. Oop, sorry about the squeakiness. Okay. So let me score this. I'm just gonna score it diagonal all the way down. All right, so let's move this out of the way. So now I'll show you what we have here. So we're gonna fold on all of these score lines. So let me fold on the middle score lines first. And then remember I have some diagonal score lines, so I want to fold on those. But I want them, so I want these diagonal ones to kind of 
Let me bring my card back here. I want these diagonal ones to fold up like this. So in order to do that, I have to fold it the opposite direction of these um, center folds. So if I folded my, if I have my center folds, let's see here, if I have my center folds like this, then I want to fold this diagonal piece backwards so that I create so I create this little groove or this little diamond shape there. Does that make sense? All right, so this is what the card looks like. It's not that difficult to put it together. It might look harder than it actually is, but it's only just a couple of score lines and just um, folding these pieces to create that fun look. All right, so if my card folds up this way, I want to decorate the inside so it looks like this, right? So let me open it up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by adding my pieces. I'm going to move this out of the way here. So I have a white, I have the white pieces that I'm going to add. So these are, um, this is just Whisper White cardstock that um, I'm just going to add in the upper corner the one that doesn't have the fold in it. And then I'm gonna add another full piece down in the bottom corner. And this one I'll do a little bit of stamping on in just a minute. And then this red piece, I want to, so, so I wanna create just a little bit of contrast. So I have the, you know, I have the uh, silver pieces that I wanna put like this, but I want to take this red piece of cardstock and put it on each of, you know, these sides. So I'm going to do the same thing I did when I scored the card, except for I am going to cut this piece on an angle instead of scoring it. So I'm going to line up my points with the, the track in my paper trimmer, and then I'm just going to Cut it straight down. Okay. All right, so let's bring the card back. So now I have all these pieces that I'm going to assemble this card with. Um, and like I said, I did the same exact thing with this silver piece. I just cut a three, three by three, whoops, three by three and a quarter inch piece. And then I just embossed it with this hexagon embossing folder. So put that there. I'll put the red one underneath and you can use any embossing folder I just kind I just kind of like the look of the red so notice as I'm putting this card together I have like about a quarter inch um, kind of matting around everything that's why I cut the pieces a little shorter than each square so each of these squares like I said is about uh, four by four inches so you want to cut your next size square about a quarter inch shorter hence the three and three quarter so let's put this one down here and we'll throw this one in right away so how easy is that huh i hope you're finding this pretty easy to do okay so there's the inside of our card and i'm going to just add um i have a little uh, congrats sentiment so I'm just gonna peel off this paper and I'm gonna add it to this upper part here and I have used um, some adhesive sheets so I have adhesive right on the back of this little um, embellishment this little sentiment so it makes it easy to just stick it right to the card so I'll put the congrats there and then I cut this little square uh, just to have a little something in this upper corner. Um, so just another little graduation cap. So I'll put that on there. And you can pop it up with dimensionals if you want, but I kind of want it to be flat um, since it's going to be on the inside of the card. Of course, I am going to add a little tassel. Um, so with the tassel, I just used some silver metallic twine and I made my own tassel. So all I'm going to do is just add it with um, a couple of glue dots 
I'm just going to stick some glue dots right on the top part of the tassel. And let's push these down a little bit. Oh, looks like I didn't grab a glue dot. There we go. All right, so put that right there. So we have one tassel there. And then we can stamp a little... Um, a little message down on the bottom. I'm using one of the retiring hostess sets. It has a cute little um, sentiment in it that says, yay, you did it. So I thought that was perfect. And then I'm just gonna embellish it with a couple little stars because all of our graduates are little stars or big stars. So we'll just throw a couple random stars on there and that's it. That's all you have to do for the inside. So on the outside, so when I fold this card together, remember I made it into a graduation cap. So we need to make a tassel for the outside. And to create this little button, I simply punched out a piece of black cardstock using um, a three and three quarter inch circle punch. So that's all I did for that. But I'm gonna show you how to make the tassel quick. It's not that it's not as difficult as it might seem. Um, so what I do is I just take my twine and I, I use the my four fingers, kind of hold on to this piece with my thumb. And all I'm going to do is just wrap it around. Um, I did mine ten times. You can do it as many as you want. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that looks good. And then I'm just going to cut off the bottom. Cut this off towards the bottom so I have my two, here, let's get this out of the way. So this is what it'll look like when you cut it. All right, so I have my bunch of twine. But now I need um, two extra pieces. So I'm just gonna cut two little pieces here. And I'll show you why. So the first thing I wanna do is grab the top and I want to thread this through the top. I know this looks like a mess, but I promise it'll it'll be nice. So I'm just gonna first tie a knot in the top. Okay. Whoop. And then I'm going to bunch this, pull this down. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of a shadow, I see. So I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna tie this piece around the top of around the top of my tassel so that I have like a little bunched up piece of twine at the top. Okay. So let's see how coordinated I am on film. You know when I'm not on film I can use my teeth to do this. <laughs> um, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're on film. Okay, so there. Look at that. I did it without using my teeth. That's great. Okay, so I'm going to double knot it, maybe, here we go, so I'm just going to double knot the tassel like that, and then I'm just going to push these down towards the bottom. Now, I have all this, this looped stuff at the bottom, so just take your scissors and cut it, cut off all the loops at the bottom so that you have some fringes for your tassel. And you could do this with any baker's twine or you can buy some tassels, whichever you prefer. Um, but since I have a lot of baker's twine, I decided to just make my own. Okay, so now I have all these extra pieces. I'm gonna grab my card because I want, what I want is my tassel to um, kind of hang off the card. So, whoops. So if I put my button in the center there, I want my tassel to hang off just a little bit, right? So I want, I want to trim up my tassel. So I'm just gonna cut all this stuff off. There we go. So I'll trim that up. Sorry, I should have done that first. Okay, so I'm going to grab a dimensional and I'm going to put it right in the center of where I want um, my tassel to be. 
So we'll put a dimensional there. I'm going to tie up the ends of this. So I'm going to tie a loop just so that I can hang, so just so that it hangs off kind of a little bit right where I want it. I'm going to take this off of here. So I'm going to put some of my tassel right on that little dimensional. I'm going to tie this in a knot. Okay. I'll we'll adhere this to the dimensional and then I'm just going to trim these off. Because this will get covered up with your button. So just trim off the extra, stick it down to your dimensional. Okay. And then you could just take your little three and a quarter inch circle. Well, let's trim off a little bit more of this or tuck it in. And then you could just take your little three and a quarter inch circle and stick it right on top. There. That's it. How simple was that? Isn't that fun? Okay. <clears throat> so here's what it looks like on the inside. And here is what it looks like on the outside. So you can make this, um, like I said, with any color. You can use any embossing, um, any embossing folders on the inside. You can just use colored paper on the inside. Just get creative with it and make it match, um, you know, the colors of your graduate. So I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial. Thanks so much for joining me today um, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.